Good morning, it's July 25th. All three commissioners are here, and it is 10.01. I ask if you rise for a moment of silent meditation, then pledge to the flag. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. It's time for our consents and approval. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay. We have um, 38 exonerations for 23,687.88. Minutes for July the 18th. General County Fund vouchers, 285-767-25. Cole Severance, $960.46. 911, 2000, 715-42. Chestnut Ridge Park, 3,104.19. Mason Dixon Park, 278.87. <clears throat> Reallocated Cole, 260.72. Sessor's valuation, 5,231.38. Purchasing card vouchers, General County Fund. 39,635.19, Home confinement, 319.28, Chestnut Ridge Park, 36.75, Mason Dixon Park, 35.30, Assessor's Valuation, $140 for a voucher total of 338,642.93. We have um, a budget revision for a general fund carryover, and we can do that separately if you like. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, position vacancies for boards and authorities, the Western Board of Zoning Appeals, the Planning Commission, River Road Public Service District, the Mon County Development Authority, and the Mon County Building Commission. Fiduciary orders for July 25, 2018. Move for approval, all items except for the budget carryover. Second. <clears throat> I've been moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, now we will discuss the actual. Yes. Now in regards to the actual budget yes. carryover. Um, the... When we set our regular budget, we set an um, amount of about $8 million, uh, in our budget that we conservatively projected is the funding that we still had remaining from future and ongoing projects that would still remain on this current budget. Um, we deliberately, conservatively project that number because we have to program all those dollars. So what we don't want is to have uh, when the final numbers come in us be over that number and then have to go into each individual funds and, and cut those dollars so so what we have over um, is two million four hundred seven dollars eight hundred nine cents um, part of what arrives at that number and it's a lot of the good work that the county does because we actually had a million dollars more in revenue uh, this past year than we expected so that's part of the the, the the uh, inability to accurately really zero in and project that number. But uh, with this, uh, the additional money, we, we have decided to program it. Uh, uh, one thing, we knew we were going to have a little bit extra, so when we went ahead and did a raise this, uh, we went ahead and uh, decided that the raises would come out of this am an amount. And that accounts for about 19.4% uh, of that overall $2.4 million. Uh, 64, 63.6% .6 of that is going right back into contingencies. Um, and we'll also be, at this point, we're going to be almost fully funded in our contingency account. We'll be at 85% of what we maximum, by law, we can ma ma actually carry in that account. So what we have been striving to do is get our uh, contingency fund uh, fully funded. And that doesn't count the, the other part of that, uh, of these dollars, that 64% is uh, 750 that we're going to put in financial stabilization. That's for the ongoing um, uh, litigation regarding public-private partnerships. So we collect those dollars, but it's prudent mm -hmm. of us to set those aside uh, so that we don't use them in case we might have to pay those dollars back. So employee salary take up 19.4% of that 2.4. Financial stabilization contingencies is 63.7% uh, 
uh, and capital outlay, we still have some ongoing projects and uh, we took 300,000 of that and we put it towards capital outlay. Uh, uh, one of the projects that we have going on is with the extension building. Uh, we, we needed a contingency for some additional groundwork, so we moved those dollars there. And then the remainder is um, about 4.5% that goes to community events. Um, so it's, it's not a lot of money, but obviously um, we're, um, you know, this is good to have a little extra money to kind of uh, fill in some of the holes from the regular budget process and places that we weren't able to fully fund as much as we'd like to. And um, that's, that's where we're at. Is there approval. any questions? No. no. Excellent job. All right. Thank you. Second. I'll say. All those in favor say aye. 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 It passes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have introduction of new employees, personnel, and we have Cat Artist, Superintendent Chestnut Ridge Park. Sorry. We'll do. Yeah. <coughs> you cat, you changed. <laughs> you became a policeman. I'll do real quick. <laughs> um, I'm introducing a lifeguard at the St. Spencer Rental that he's in high school. He's at band camp this week, so cannot make it. He will be starting either this week or weekend or middle of next week at a rate of $10 an hour seasonal part-time to hopefully free us up a little bit. Move for approval? Second. Probably move and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Can I ask what, what grade he's in and what he plays? I've never met him. My office manager hired him. So okay. he's I'm lifeguard certified, and that's what's important. He's going to be a 12th grader. I did not, yeah. He's a senior. Yes, he okay. is a senior. I'm actually chaperoning, so when I go back yes, there look, this week, I can give him, heck, hey, you weren't your meeting. We couldn't. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no. Yes. no. He just got back from uh, CMU's uh, engineering camp. Oh. So, I mean, he, he's an excellent individual who I think, you know, will work out well. Good. Thank you. Thank you. And also now, <clears throat> the sheriff seeks your approval on two hires in our transport division. Um, the first one is Noah Thompson as a part-time transport officer with an effective start date of tomorrow, the 26th. Okay. Um, he is currently a sophomore at WVU in criminology. Um, the second is Thomas Copenhaver. He would be a full-time transport officer with an effective start date of August the 1st. Um, and he is a Marine Corps veteran. Yes. Move for approval. Second. Pop moves in second. All those in favor say aye. 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 This wouldn't happen to do anything with uh, you guys starting a basketball team, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Put him in the middle. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Welcome, guys. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> Are there any other introductions? No. Okay. Number five, we're at comments from the public. I don't see, even though Tom's part of the public, I know you're not here for speaking for that. Okay. We have uh, Colleen Kuhn with grants. All right. No grants. Correspondence. Letter of thanks received from the Mon County Deputy Sheriff's Association for the continued support of the deputies of Mon County. Do you want me to read it? Yes, sure. Please. Please. <clears throat> We, the members of the Montague County Deputy Sheriff's Association, would like to extend our appreciation and gratitude for the continued support of the deputies of Montague County. The Commission <coughs> has continued to make decisions on raises and affordable health coverage by always keeping the deputies and our families in mind. We want you to know that your efforts and difficult decisions do not go unnoticed nor unappreciated, and that we greatly thank you for the support. As we continue to be at the front line of criminal justice system, in Montague County, we know that we can count on the commission to always have our best interests in mind. Thank you again for your continued support. Sincerely, the membership of the Mon County Deputy Sheriff's Association. Thank you. That's very nice. Very good. Uh, letter received from Joan Webb, Executive Director of the Connecting Link, notifying the commission that the Morgantown office will be closing as of August 1st and that they will not be accepting county commission grant funding awarding to the organization for the fiscal year 2019. I mean, that's the gist of the letter. Yeah, so. that, that's it. Um, they decided, they're, and just so for information, they are out of uh, Marion County and they had a office here and they just couldn't find two people to keep funding it and work it. So that's why they decided to go back to uh, Marion County. Um, okay, is there any other correspondence? No. Did anyone else have any correspondence? No? Okay. We're at new business to consider appointment to the Mon County Planning Commission. We have, uh, you all have interviewed Erica Hetzel 
She is an office manager at the WVU College of Law. Her specialty is uh, land use planning, and uh, she would like your consideration to be appointed. Move for approval. Second with comment. Papa moves in second. Go ahead. Uh, she was. A, she's a very uh, good addition to the Planning Commission, and um, uh, um, we're happy to have her. I was very impressed with her uh, skill set and her capabilities, and um, I'm sure Ed that she's going to oh, provide yes. a lot of value to your Planning Commission. I, I think uh, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's good to have new blood, and it's good to have really revitalized new blood. So this would be you know, a wonderful addition to the Planning Commission. Okay, there's a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Number two, consideration to approve the proposal from the Novak Consulting Group to provide planning, consultation, and facilitation support services for the planned Montague County workshop. Move for approval with comment. Good. Second. Properly moved and second. I was going to ask you to explain. And this is the workshop that Mayor Kwecki and I have been working on where we're trying to um, get all the municipalities together in, in a group to um, work on shared goals and what we're doing what this this proposal is it's a proposal from a professional facilitator that does municipal and county and statewide strategic planning uh, uh, you know as, as that's what they do uh, so we're gonna our plan is to bring this individual in they're going to meet with each of the indiv individuals that might be through survey you know it may not be face to face until the actual meeting but the goal is to get each of the municipalities to to drill down into shared goals that we can work together on. Um, and then uh, we'll get together in the actual workshop. This person will facilitate the workshop. It's going to be on October 27th, which is a Saturday in October. And um, we're hoping to walk out, walk out of there with, uh, you know, some shared goals. And I think it's times like this where there seems to be a lot of animosity between um, between municipal governments, between municipal governments and the county, between county governments and the state. It's times like this where we just need more communication, not less. And uh, the commission wants to fund this. I'm, I'm speaking for myself, but the commission wants to fund this because that's the first that's the first excuse to walk away is, well, it's going to cost this. So we've decided to fund it or we want to decide to fund it uh, so that, uh, you know, we can be, you know, take that first step. And I, assuming that uh, my uh, counterparts agree with me, I appreciate this, the, the, the efforts to do this. And um, um, we'll see where it goes. This isn't where we leave Sean hanging, is it? No, you're trying to No, 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 no. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no I, I think this affords an excellent opportunity uh, to go forward in the future, uh, particularly with planning. Uh, this is a very great county we have here, and we have to look forward for the whole county, and that involves all our municipalities. So I indeed look forward to this event in uh, October. I, I want to applaud uh, Commissioner Sikor. He has taken this lead. He has worked with us to move forward, and I, for clarification, I did want to say that we are willing to fund the whole thing at twelve thousand five hundred dollars. I did want well, so not to exceed fifteen thousand. Oh, not to exceed. We have some event planning to do. Oh, okay, not to exceed fifteen thousand, but I did want the the, the funds to be out there so yeah. that people knew that. And I think it says a lot that the commissioners are trying to take the lead to see what we can do to move the county and the city relationships forward. And of that, of yeah. that. Uh, the five percent I talked about that we took uh, the carryover right. dollars. This is one of the. This is part of that five percent. Yes. Anything else? Excellent. So we have motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 It passes unanimously. Okay. Uh, C. Here we go. Consideration of requisition number nineteen for the University Town Center Economic Opportunity Development District sub account. Yes, sir. We've gotten notification from the treasurer's office that three hundred nineteen thousand six fifty-five ninety is available to be transferred to uh, for the repayment of bonds. Move for approval. Second. Papa moves and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 To consider approval requisition for number nine for the University Town Center Special District Excise Tax Revenue Refund and Improvement Bond Series two thousand seventeen A Administrative Expense Fund. In the amount of eleven thousand twenty-eight dollars and fifty cents. Move for approval. Second. Papa move and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Consideration <laughs> of requisition number three for the senior tax increment revenue and refunding bond series two 
2016A in the subordinate tax increment revenue bonds, Series 2016B taxable administrative expense fund. In the amount of $8,145. Move for approval. Second. Profit moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. To consider the adoption of a resolution in order by the County Commission which would authorize the execution and delivery of a first supplementary indenture of trust, the supplementary indenture, by and between the County Commission and the United Bank, the trustee, supplementing and amending the indenture of trust, the original indenture, by and between the County Commission and the trustee dated October 6, 2016 to modify the original indenture to extend the period of time available to the insurer for the requisition of proceeds of the County Commission's tax increment revenue and refunding bond series 2016C Maple Drive Improvement Project. Move for approval with comment. Second. Probably moved and second. Go ahead. I assume is this Tom you here to speak <laughs> yes. about this if uh, you, Thank you. you want to <coughs> get up and Summarize that yes. <laughs> for the for the public. Okay. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Tom. Tom Amen with and Johnson, and we were the uh, bond council on the Maple Drive, the TIF Maple Drive improvement project uh, that the county commission undertook in let's see, 2016. Now I believe we issued those bonds. Um, so um, originally. Let's see, those bonds closed in October 2016, and there was a basically a permitted draw period for the funds uh, available uh, for that particular issue um, through December of 17, um, and this was for the Maple Drive uh, improvement project. And those bonds had a refinancing component so that the existing bonds are repaid. And then there was additional financing made available for the actual improvements to Maple Drive. And the improvements have been completed. And basically, Mon General submitted a requisition to cover, and, and Mon General uh, paid the costs of that project as it went along, which is permitted under the way it was structured. Um, and they have submitted a single requisition to cover all the costs uh, incurred. So we have that, and the you know the costs on that were 2.1 million. Uh, that was within the budgeted amount. 5.1 million bond issue. So the remainder of that would be basically the refunding, um, and then any uh, funds remaining after that would be perhaps just amounts that were are not going to be drawn and funded under the issue. Um, so obviously we're beyond the December uh, 17 time <coughs> period. Uh, they just thought that the project would be completed more timely, and so um, they undertook actually some additional work in that area um, that was not originally anticipated, but still within the budgeted costs. And so now that work is completed, all costs have been paid, and so um, the request and the resolution and order would authorize basically a supplemental trust indenture solely for the purpose of extending that period of time to draw on the funds and pay the remaining costs, uh, approving um, also an amended and restated bond itself just to reflect okay. the fact that we're extending this draw period. That's basically it. That, excellent. I mean, excellent explanation. Any questions? Nope. That's exactly what I understood. Okay. I, just, I appreciate, uh, Tom, you yep. have a gift for explaining these comments. <laughs> okay. a lot In a little more simple terms. <laughs> so I'm working on it. I'm really working on it. That's all I the have on that. The version is getting better. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have a motion to approve the resolution and order. Second. 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 To consider for approval project fund requisition number one for the County Commission's Tax Increment Revenue and Refunding Bond <coughs> Series 2016C number three, Maple Drive Improvement Project. Okay, it's um, $2,154,099.18. Move for approval. Second. Profit moves and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Consideration of request by Main Street, Morgantown, to reserve the Courthouse Square on September 8th and September 29th, 2018. Do we know what the events um, are? Purpose oh. of event, public awareness for international students. That's oh, that the 29th. A, that was great. And mm -hmm. the other one is to promote the downtown. 
Move for approval. Second. Crawford moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Is there any other new business before? No. Okay. Reports from elected officials. Anybody? Okay. Um, reports from County Commissioner Sean. You you can go first, explaining how what it's like to be at band <coughs> camp, at Morgantown High School band camp, and be a chaperone. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm going to be short because okay. I I've been out all week. Um, <laughs> So I've been trying to keep up via email and just paying attention to what's going on. But yes, I, it, it's an experience that everybody should do at least once in your life. And you know, what a wonderful thing. Again, I sound like a broken rec record spouting on about how wonderful everything is in Mon County. But uh, MHS, the MHS band, Carrie, I believe you were in the MHS band, weren't you? Mm -hmm. uh, it's such, such a wonderful tradition, and it's just, it's just, it's the biggest uh, band in the state, and it's such a wonderful full opportunity for for kids that are coming in and that's what I have this week is freshmen so it's I got freshman boys <laughs> and to take all these kids at the beginning of the week and I this kid went to this middle school and this kid went to this middle school and this kid went to this middle school and then by the end of the day yesterday that they're all interacting you never you thought they knew each other for the you know their whole life and those are life long relationships so just being part of that uh, Regardless of the, the, the habits of, of young boys, which I'm not used to, I raise girls, uh, you know, it, it was pretty, it's pretty humbling just to be part of that and uh, just watch these kids just grow in just three days uh, and become a, this well-oiled machine. So uh, even though <laughs> with apps and all the, the negative things, uh, I, everybody should do it at least once. But I'm really happy to be back in, to be back in town. I'm going to be gone Thursday, Friday. I'll be back down there today. Uh, but um, thank you guys for uh, agreeing to the uh, uh, help work with this workshop. I do think it's very important that uh, we kind of change the conversation and, and to things that we all are working on instead of things where we disagree. And we've been trying to do that. And I, I applaud your efforts. Uh, uh, and that's all I really had. As the UHS graduate, I don't think we want to leave out uh, the UHS <laughs> band as well. And last night, uh, the, the Clay Battelle band, yes. which has came a really long way uh, mm -hmm. in development they, because they were in the Wadestown uh, area. We were last night for the Battelle District Fair Parade and the fair celebrating 90 years um, of fair history in Wadestown. Uh, I did work Kids Day on Saturday and did see uh, how well our square uh, was put to use and received, uh, I'll be honest with you, at least 10 compliments uh, from various people and organizations on the square and how pretty and how nice it looked. And I said, you need to come down and look at it at night when everything's lit up. So that was, uh, that, and it was a great event. Uh, t tomorrow actually begins the Halleck Fair. Uh, we are in fair season. And of course, all the bands uh, will step out uh, on next Monday at the Montague County Fair Parade uh, in beautiful downtown Morgantown. And I'm really looking forward to that and, uh, and appearing in that parade as usual with my little, uh, little red is ready to run. I uh, was in the parade last night, so I'm really looking forward to that. One last thing I'd like to add, Tom. Uh, again, when we were talking about our, our budget and, uh, you know, where we're at as a county is a compliment to the county employees. Right. Um, when, I noted, when I mentioned those extra revenues, a lot of that is services that the county provides. So uh, carry out specifically a large number with your, your staff. Uh, so, um, you know, as we are now, we're three weeks into a, a, a new year. Still, you know, job well done in the previous year. And... Um, you know, hopefully we'll keep bigger and better things. Okay. Uh, yes, I was also at the Patel District Fair, and I'll tell you, they were very appreciative of Ed and I being out there. And it was the first time, really, there was a lot of compliments that they felt that we recognized that they were there now. I mean, it had always been separate, and I think it was a real pause and numerous comments about thanking us for helping them, you know, and projects out there. So it, it was really nice. It, this, has been, this is a good... Day for me. Um, I also want to say that on Monday night, uh, Pantry Plus More received four thousand dollars, and Pack the Bus Preston County received four thousand dollars from Al Bonner's program from Jeans. And what also came out of that was the Preston County Board of Education has requested Pantry Plus More to work with them to set up programs in their county. So it, it's a was a real positive situation. Um, the only other thing is. 
Thursday is the initial meeting of the uh, DOH's Airport Information Committee. Again, we do not know what that is. That's that's where, you know, you allow me to be on that committee. I'm not airport. airport. Wow, <laughs> rude. Jeez. No wonder you looked at me. <laughs> DOH is, I'm sorry. Yeah, you looked at me as I was here. DOH is uh, Road Information Committee. And again, I do not know who all the members are. We'll find out. But I think it's a great, I, and I think it's a real success because if you all remember when Don Williams was here, we asked what could we do, one of the suggestions the three of us made was to have an informational committee to get out that information, and DOH agreed. So they took our suggestion, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, uh, the, the final thing was we had the food drive during Kids' Day uh, downtown. It was the largest we ever had with 15,000 pounds of fresh produce, 208 families, 842 family members, we're given food, and we're just really pleased. And I want to do a shout out to the National Guard. Not only did they come and work in that 95 degree weather, but when a couple of the, the individuals fainted and need to get to the car, they immediately ran without, I mean, they immediately went and helped the individuals. And it just, their, their compassion needs to be marked. And, and we're going to send a letter from the Pantropus Moore program to the National Guard and those members. And they liked it so much, they are coming back in September or October. So I appreciate that. Um, at this time, it's not on the agenda, but uh, we need to go into executive session, discuss personnel. Could I have a motion to do that? So moved. Second. Properly moved and second. We're, we'll be in for a short period of time, um, executive session. And, and you all can stay here or you can <coughs> leave, but we'll go into the back room. Do I have a motion to come out of executive session? So moved. Second. Prop moved and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. second. Move to adjourn is approved.